an observation. And then we looked to see if it fit Einstein's general theory of relativity, and it did. General theory of relativity is the modern understanding of gravity. And if anything's happening in the universe, it's going to involve gravity. That means we didn't have to reinvent the theory of the universe because it worked. And so then we say, all right, if the universe is getting bigger... Since the James Webb Telescope began its work, an intriguing question has emerged. Might we have missed a fundamental truth about our universe for a long time? Theories like the Big Bang and other bedrocks of physics have shaped our understanding of the universe, but recent discoveries are challenging these theories. The turning point now comes when we must completely change our view of the cosmos and our own existence, or are the confusing data just observational errors? Together, we go now on a journey to the beginning of the cosmos and to the possibly largest errors of natural science. In July 2023, NASA published a brand new image of ancient galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope has just made a mind-blowing discovery that could change our understanding of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, a super powerful telescope, has detected six massive galaxies that many scientists believed were impossible. In fact, these... The first plausible explanation that emerged was that it was entirely possible for closer galaxies to appear as very distant galaxies. Scientists around the world tested the results and all came to the same conclusion. These galaxies are real and no anomaly is present. Thus, these galaxies were already present when the universe was less than 350 million years old. And this is what has become a scientific problem. In addition to their age, these galaxies are extremely massive, highly structured, and so full of stars that their luminosity exceeds that of today's galaxies. The big problem is that during this epoch of the universe, according to previous calculations, only first prototypes of galaxies should have existed. Scientists imagined it approximately in such a way that at the time between 200 or 400 million years after the Big Bang, the first stars came together to what later galaxies developed from. So they expected to find galaxies on the new pictures of the James Webb Telescope, which are either small, chaotic, or dark, or that deliver in other ways conclusions on an early development state. But what happened now is like someone showing you photos from a time when a certain person was still a baby, and then you realize from the pictures of that time that this person was already an adult. You would be shocked and think something is wrong. And next, my favorite kind of story in life is the kind that reminds us that we are nowhere near as close to as smart as we think we are. And oh boy, does this next one do exactly that. Red shifts of 16 to 20s could be confirmed, and thus the six galaxies are really as old as scientists had first claimed. Now the foundation of our cosmology wobbles, and nobody knows at the moment quite what this will mean. We'll just have to wait and see. The presence of these galaxies will most likely lead people to develop another telescope in the near future that can look even further back in time than James Webb. But it may also be that Webb himself will shed further light. The telescope has been in operation for just one year now, and its capabilities may not even be exhausted yet. Even Hubble, when it was long considered obsolete, achieved one or two miracles in the cosmos, such as the discovery of Urel, the oldest single star ever sighted. The end for the Big Bang. The Big Bang is supposed to have been the starting point of the universe 13.8 billion years ago. Using known quantities from physics and astronomy, researchers have reconstructed how the young universe evolved from this initial event. The latest discoveries now break with these ideas, of course, things in the cosmos don't have to be right just because they could be calculated. Mathematics and astrophysics are still far from being able to describe all phenomena. For example, Einstein was not able to mathematically reconstruct the existence of the entire cosmos. Nevertheless, many of his computational predictions were consistent. For example, he knew of the existence of black holes only from mathematics and physics long before they were actually discovered. 
the theory of the Big Bang was 100% consistent with the rather incontrovertible physical values from Einstein's theories of relativity. We all know that as brilliant as Einstein was, and as successful as his general theory of relativity has been, it has limits. And one limit is the center of a black hole, and another limit is the very birth of the universe itself. The big Which have hardly been explored to date, and quantities from quantum mechanics. The events are seen from some researchers as a chance. Others, however, are confused and hardly want to depart from old convictions. They were too sure they were close to completing the puzzle, but now these six galaxies are tearing a hole in the previous picture. There is more to come. Many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang. Take Newton's laws, for example. He has a law of motion and law of gravity. If there's a high gravity source, Newton's laws fail. If you're moving really fast, faster than a running horse, or whatever Newton might have experienced in his life, his equations begin to break down. Do you throw away all- When Einstein came up with the equations of general and special relativity, Einstein's work only extended Newton's findings and placed them in a broader cosmic framework. Newton still assumed that objects like stars or planets were stuck in some kind of confined space and rotated on fixed positions. Even when Einstein was a young man, the determinant worldview was still common. Bizarre, kilometer-long linear features appear to have moved over the years. Eight years ago, New Horizons took a glimpse of Pluto, and since then, structures in Sputnik Planum have changed dramatically. Could it be that the dwarf planet Pluto is not as lifeless and boring as previously assumed? And could living beings be responsible for these movements? Well, we'll take a closer look. The icy plateau forms the left part of the famous Pluto heart. Although Sputnik Planum has a lower elevation than most surrounding areas, the surface is not entirely flat. It's divided into polygons and cells with a width of 16 to 40 kilometers. And at a low sun angle, the sizes of the segment seemingly change due to the variations at the angle of the incident light. When polygons and cells cast distinct shadows, the center appears visually elevated, creating an illusion of about 100 meters of height difference. It's already certain that the pattern in this plane was formed by dynamic processes. However, it remained a mystery whether these processes are still active. Presumably, the cell pattern was created by slow thermal convection of the nitrogen-dominated ice cover of Sputnik Planum. Thermal convection is a process in which heat energy is transferred through the movement of liquids or gas. When a portion of the liquid or gas is heated, it expands and rises, 
while cooler portions move in to fill the space. This creates a circulation. Before the 1920s, it was generally believed that there were no galaxies other than the Milky Way. But in 1925, astronomer Edwin Hubble changed everything when he discovered that the universe is much larger. In some areas, the solid nitrogen at depth is warmed by Pluto's moderate internal heat, becoming buoyant. It forms gray lumps, then cools down and sinks again, starting the process anew. About Pluto, but really, the, its geology and geophysics, and especially its origin and where it came from and how it evolved. When I began to work on Pluto, literally, this part of Pluto behaves like a lava lamp. Only in this case, the lava lamp is nearly 1,000 thalers clutter wide. Computer models from James Webb show how clumps of inverted solid nitrogen can slowly change and form structures over millions of years. Along the rippled edges, cooled nitrogen ice falls away, causing the cells to shift visually. In fact, James Webb's images reveal several active triple junctions, providing a particularly lively view of the structure. However, this is unfortunately not an indication of the activity of any life form. What is happening in Viking Terra? The informally named region, Viking Terra on Pluto, has already been thoroughly studied, with researchers comparing data from New Horizons with that of the James Webb Telescope. These images were taken at a distance of only 49,000 kilometers and revealed another phenomenon that caught the researchers' attention. Traces of bright methane ice were found at the crater edges. More precisely, it's an accumulation of dark red tholins, small soot-like particles that form through reactions of nitrogen and methane in the atmosphere. These particles give Pluto its typical red and white appearance. In regions where the surface appears smooth, the reddish material is noticeably thicker. And thanks to the long-term comparison, scientists have observed that this material also moves and forms channels. This process suggests that Pluto is geologically much more active than previously assumed. Thanks to the new images from James Webb, researchers have reconstructed that the many craters on the planet were formed by ice fracturing and evaporation. In addition, there are some overlapping impact craters. On the whole, Pluto's surface seems to be shaped by geological processes that are still active to this day. Getting so much new data and insight that they will be busy for decades researching and explaining the most impossible and crazy discoveries, whether Webb delivers data, lots of new questions usually pop up at the same time. Tell us now which of these discoveries has captivated you the most or which image you'd like to know more about. Maybe you have some astronomical knowledge that you'd like to share with us. We're happy about every contribution and wish you a great day until next time at Astro Lumen.